any city of India you go to, or for that matter, any city in the globe across the globe that you go to, you always find these street performers performing by the roadside, and uh, you know just to earn that little extra money, the honest money, I would say, you know that is the honest money. Right. You know, I had never been. Uh, they were there, and you know they they, they had never. I had never thought about them. But it was sometime about three or four years back when actually, you know, I saw, I closely saw these children uh, across various traffic signals in Gurgaon. I found, you know, somebody is doing cartwheels and tightrope walk, somebody is acting and dancing, and somebody is just playing some musical instrument, uh, you know, homemade, rudely made musical instrument. So that is what gave me the idea that, you know, these people have immense talent. And if, if there is someone, if there is someone who can pick up this talent and nurture this talent. Possibly these uh, children can achieve wonders. See, I, 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 you know, my theme is that dreams have no discrimination. Everybody dreams. A child also dreams, and everyone dreams of something. So, and and everyone should dream. And it is those opportunities for the dreams to be attained. That's what I have talked about. And as I said, you know, I had always wanted underdogs. You know, my one of my favorite, my most favorite author is Charles Dickens. And the three characters that he created, yeah. David Copperfield, Oliver Twist, and right. Pip in Great right. Expectations. Great Expectations. All three, of them, all three of them had, you know, came from adverse circumstances, adverse right. situations. Right. But right. they had dreams, they had expectations, and they worked hard to attain those expectations. Right. So that's what I wanted to uh, bring out through this book, that you can, if you, if you dream, you can, and you can attain your